If your Sierra truck is equipped with an integrated trailer brake controller, the electric brakes on your trailer are integrated with the braking systems on your truck. The integrated trailer brake control panel is located on the instrument panel to the left of the steering wheel. This control panel lets you adjust the amount of braking output, referred to as trailer gain, delivered to the electric trailer brakes. The trailer brake display page on the DIC then displays the amount of braking output, or trailer gain, that's going to the trailer brakes. Together, the control panel and DIC display will allow you to set the trailer gain for best trailer stopping performance. A trailer that is overgained may result in locked trailer brakes, while an undergained trailer may result in not enough trailer braking. Let's walk through the steps you'll take to set the proper trailer gain. The trailer brake DIC screen will display automatically when a trailer with electric brakes is first connected. If a trailer is already connected, scroll through the DIC menu pages using the odometer trip stem or the DIC vehicle information button to reach the trailer brake page. Or simply press a trailer gain button on the control panel. This will recall the current trailer gain setting. Adjust the trailer gain by using the gain adjustment buttons. Then, drive on a level road surface that represents the towing conditions you expect. Drive to between 20 and 25 miles per hour and fully apply the manual trailer brake apply lever. Adjust the trailer gain to just below the point of trailer wheel lockup, which is indicated by trailer wheel squeal or tire smoke when a trailer wheel locks up. Note that trailer wheel lockup may not occur if towing a heavily loaded trailer. In this case, adjust the trailer gain to the highest allowable setting for the towing condition. Readjust trailer gain anytime vehicle loading, trailer loading, or road surface conditions change, or if trailer wheel lockup is noticed at any time while towing. 